and welcome this video number four on how to learn Inkscape and this time we're going to talk about how to create text in this program. So we've got a type tool and we can simply press T for that. It says A as a symbol but T is the short key for that. Let me create some basic text for two lines. And if you click on your cursor you can see that the top menu has vanished. So if you want to adjust your text make sure the type tool is activated and you've got this top menu where you can choose the fonts and all of the fonts that you've got installed on your CPU should be here. Let me just pick a sans serif default font, nothing too fancy. We can change the style, but it depends on the font that you use. So some fonts have more styles, some don't have any, but the normal style like this one. So the sans serif, it has these four styles, normal, italic, bold and bold italic. We can adjust the size over here. Pick for example pixels with the drop down and make it 100. The next function, well let me put that a little bit to the center. The next function is the distance between the lines. So I've got two lines and if I adjust that, the two lines will be separated further. I've set it to lines, but you can also set that to pixels as well. For example, at 50 we've got an overlap here. We've got the typical align menu, so left, center, right, and block text. Then we've got this superscript and subscript toggle. So if I highlight one of these letters, I can make them super and subscript. If I select a single word, I can adjust the spacing between the letters. If I don't highlight this word, all of the letters or all of the words with the letters would be affected and that way only the first text is affected. I can adjust the spacing between words. So if I just select the first line, the spacing between the two text words is adjusted and the second one moves to the right. You get some kerning options where you can adjust the kerning a little bit more in depth. What's interesting to us is this drop down. The second one just gives us another option, for example, here to put it to the left or align it to the left in this horizontal text. The first one's more interesting as we can create vertical text with it. Let me show you how that is done. I'll just put this one to the top. I'll create a new text, so press T. Let me call that horizontal as I write horizontally. I'll put the drop down. I can make it vertical, just like this. If you want to resize your text, let me create some new one. You can use the cursor tool, but if you just use it and drag it like like a uh, like every other element, for example, rectangle, you will stretch your font. And for most fonts, that's not what you want. Instead, you want to keep the proportions. So if you use the cursor tool to resize it, always hold Control, and that way you've got height and width or the relation to each other kept and your text isn't stretched. Let us create some outline text. So I'll control and resize that. And now I add some fill and stroke colors to it. I can use the bottom colors or simply double click on the bottom left to open this menu. And I give it a flat color for the stroke paint. Let me use the wheel and I'll make that green. You cannot just rotate it, but you can also drag this circle on top to the center or to left and right in the triangle and adjust the color further. Let me increase the weight. So it's set to pixels. You can see what it does. You can also create some dashes with the drop down. There are many options to choose from. I want to have a regular stroke here and if I get rid of the fill with this X, we've got our outline. 
and the fill is now transparent. All the letters themselves are transparent and we've added this stroke to them. If we want to just fill in stroke color, we can do so with the bottom. There is this X button. If we click on that, the fill is gone. And if we hold shift and click on the colors or on the X, we have affected the stroke. So by holding shift, you will switch between the stroke and the fill. And then you can use the bottom colors or the X to adjust it. And this is how you can create text in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.